So the other problem with that old method was that it was an absolute path, right? That file path was pointing to my location of the executable, meaning that if you guys didn't put it in that exact location, then you would never have access to that executable. Therefore, that really sucks. And that's not the way it should work, right? The framework, you should just be able to drop it in a single place and everything should work. So what we need to do is use a relative method to retrieve our folder path. So what I did here was I actually created a get driver method, which is going to retrieve us the path to the appropriate driver. This get driver method, it takes an enum, which is going to list all of our drivers. Our enum is up here and an enum is just a different type. We actually don't even need this. An enum is just a type that allows us to easily force people to use a certain kind of naming convention. So for example, right, we can have several types of drivers. So we can have Firefox driver. We can even do like this Firefox. We can do Chrome. We can do IE. So when somebody tries to use this get driver method, they are forced to use the drivers enum. So I'm going to hit drivers and then they're going to be forced to use one of the selections that exist in the drivers enumeration. And so I'm going to select Chrome and then that way it forces the user to use your naming conventions, right? Instead of having a string here, that is called driver and then the user may pass in chrome they may pass in chrome driver maybe they'll pass in cr you never know but this way you kind of force the user to do what you want so i'm forcing you guys to either use chrome firefox or ie and anything else that we add here and then we go down to our method here and we can in the future create a select case statement whenever we add other drivers but right now it's not necessary so i just use the Yagni principle to create the only thing that I need to make it work. And so here I just created a dynamic way for us to get the path of the Chrome web driver. And so let's go ahead and run this so you guys can see what that actually returns. So I'm going to go ahead and do a debug. And so now that's going to come here and over here, we use a get path that get directory name method to use the location of the executing assembly. So if I step into this, you guys can see that the output directory is going to go to my bin slash debug folder. And so from here right now, every time we're executing, we're going to end up in this folder. And so from here, I can retrieve the appropriate path that I want, right? So if I go up one, two, three levels, I'll be in the light palm framework tutorial folder. Let me show you guys that here, right? So right now we are going into framework bin debug. That's where our code is being executed. So if we go up one, two, three levels, now we are going to be in this folder. And then at this starting point, we can enter into the framework folder and go to drivers. And I just realized that didn't make any sense. We don't need to go up three levels. And that's because I was pointing you guys to the wrong folder. We are actually in QTP test folder. So let's go back here. We are in light palm framework, QTP tests, bin, and in debug. So we do need to go up one level, two levels, three levels to here. And then if we go into the framework folder and then drivers, now we are at our right location, right? And it doesn't matter what any of this is. As long as you guys have this folder structure, you guys will be able to put this anywhere you want and this part will be irrelevant. So that's what we're trying to do here.